So, so good day. So let's solve some problems from static of rigid bodies. Hmm. So this is an equilibrium in concurrent forces. So the 800 pound cylinder is supported by three chains as shown. Determine the force in each chain for equilibrium. Take D is equal to 1 foot. Okay? So yun dito natin is 1 foot. And given this figure, so first step, so gawa nyo ng free body diagram. So, syempre, meron yung weight. Yung weight is mag-act downward lagi naman. So, this is 800 pounds. Okay? Then, si tension AB, so, yung chain AB, no? So, meron yung tension AB. Then, si tension AC, meron din yan. Tapos si tension AD. So, kapag ako nagsasolve ng 3D, nilalagyan ko na coordinate yung bawat points, no? So, first coordinate is this point D. So, ang x-coordinate niya is 0. So, ito si positive, ito si positive x natin. So, ibig sabihin, ito ay 0. So, that is 0. And then, ang y natin is negative 1. And then, ang z, 0. Okay. So, Cartesian plane, 3D. Then, itong C, point C naman natin, that is 1, 0, and 0. This is the point D, again na lang, point C. And then, si point B, that is, ang X natin is, since this is 135, so ibig sabihin from the X axis, that is, eh, from the Y axis, that is 135 minus 90, that is equal to 45. 90 minus, I'm sorry, 135 minus 90. So, that is equal to 45 degrees. So, the negative coordinates is negative, kasi nasa likod ng x, so negative sine of 45. And then, ang x value, ang y naman is positive cosine of 45. And then, sa z is 0. And then, yung point A, may coordinate na 0, 0, negative 1. Kasi nasa baba ng Z. So, kapag ganyan, itabulate lang natin ulit, no? So, for the tension, we have tension AB, tension AC, tension AD. Then, i-rewrite lang natin yung X, Y, and then Z. So, kukunin lang natin yung component ni X. So, paano nyo kukunin ko yung component ni X? So, head minus tail. No? So, yung head minus tail natin, that is, ito yung head. So, si AB, consider natin. So, yung head niya is negative sine 45 minus B, no? B minus A, kasi head minus tail. So, that is negative sine 45. So, Y cosine of 45. Si Z, positive 1. Si AC, no? so punta ka naman dito sa C. So, C minus A, so that is, si X, that is 1 minus 0, that is 1. And then, 0 minus 0, that is 0. 0 minus negative 1, that is positive 1. Then, next, si D minus A naman. So, that is 0 minus 0, 0. Negative 1 minus 0, negative 1. And then, 0 minus 1, positive 1. And then, kukunin lang natin yung space diagonal niya ng D. So, ang formula ng D natin, huh? that is the square root of x squared plus y squared plus z squared. No? So, using calculator. So, mag-calculate na yan. So, open lang ako ng calculator. That is... Hindi ako.
so half Q mode 1 so kapag nasa half Q kayo ano ganito na lang gawin mo kung ganito yun x squared plus y squared plus m squared then I will use calc calculate so I will use x negative sine 45 so make sure naka degree, degree mode kayo dyan no? cosine 45 then 1 so that is square root of then you next 1 0 1 square root of 2 now makikita nyo naman equal lahat na distance so this is also square root of 2 okay so kapag ganyan meron ka na components so gamit ka na lang ng summation ng forces no so yung sign convention natin dyan so okay na yan dapat yung magpaburin dyan so that is summation ng forces along x no summation ng forces along x so since equilibrium siya equal to 0 okay so ano ano yung mga forces along x so nandiyan dyan si tension AB so gagamitin yung component niya that is negative sine 45 over yung kanyang hypotenuse that is square root of 2 plus move ko lang yung parang hindi kakata plus TAC o oh, ano yung TAC naman natin ano yung x component niya that is 1 over square root of 2 si TAD yung component niya is 0 over square root of 2 then equal to 0 wala namang forces along x kung makikita nyo no isa lang si 800 lang next summation na forces along y that is equal to 0 sa tension AB that is equal to o ano ni mga forces sa y ito naman yung titignan natin tapos ito yung diagonal niya so that is cosine 45 over square root of 2 plus <coughs> TAC times 0 over square root of 2 plus TAD times 1 over square root of 2 equals to 0. Ay, negative. Tama? Negative, no? Kalagay dito, makikita nyo negative 1. Uh, summation ng forces along Z is equal to 0. So, TAB. Anong component niya? Ito naman yung titignan nyo, no? Hmm, okay. So, that is... 1 over square root of 2 plus TAC times 1 over square root of 2 plus TAD 1 over square root of 2 and then ano naman yung forces dito so makikita kayo downward that is minus 800 equals to 0 no? and then ayan na yung working equation natin so we have 3 equations three unknowns no so ay lang so ay gagamitin natin tong equation na yan so ang gagawin niyo kukunin niyo lang yung mga coefficient ni TAB, TAC, tsaka TAD and then yung constant then masasolve niyo na si TAD, TAC and TA so, input lang natin siya sa calculator. So, kapag gagawin siya sa calculator niya, pwede na natin yung calculator para makikita niyo yung equation. So, mode 5, 2. Sa Canon, mode 5, 2 din, no? 3 unknowns. So, AB, that is equal to negative sine 45 divided by the square root of 2 next <clears throat> and then 1 divided square root of 2 then 0 0 and then cosine of 45 or divided by square root of 2 0 negative 1 over 
scale it out to zero one divided by the square root of two one divided by the square root of two one divided by square root of two and then ta transpose natin si negative eight hundred na magiging positive na lang siya so the answer will be four hundred Four hundred sixty-eight point six two nine new pounds, and then y value is three three one point three seven one pound PAD three three one point thirty seven pound. Okay, so mix lang natin yung final answer natin. Okay, I will give you time to copy. Hmm. <clears throat> 